Mother Maria Eicher was the prioress of the sisters and she was Beisel's female counterpart and so she outranked even some of the men here at the cloister. She ran the sisterhood, kept the finances, uh, and made sure the sisters were on task for the day. And she was one of the first sisters who came here with Conrad Beisel in 1733. So this house was built in 1745. While religion was probably the main reason for joining, women also joined because of the opportunities that were provided for them here and the independence they found. Here the women were able to live communally, which put less of a strain on an individual, and they were able to share companionship with like-minded women. Elderly women and widows also found care and friendship here at the Ephrata Cloister. The women were also able to devote themselves to their religious pursuits, including doing works of art and music. They didn't have to be a wife and mother, the traditional roles, and they had time that would have normally been spent caring for a house and family. The sisters typically woke up around five o'clock in the morning and had an hour for private prayer uh, and to get ready for the day. At six o'clock, their workday began. The sisters would have tended to the gardens, cared for some animals, cooked, sewed, cleaned, done laundry. And the brothers actually did the same thing at their own house. The brothers did their own cooking, sewing, cleaning, and laundry. The members worked until about 10 when they had an hour break, back to work until 12 when they got another hour break for prayer, and then back to work again until five o'clock at night. At five o'clock, they had another hour for a private devotion, and then at six o'clock, they had their main meal for the day. At seven o'clock for two hours, the members had a school time where they could learn reading or writing or music. At nine o'clock, they went to sleep. However, they only slept for about three hours when they woke back up again for a two hour worship service called the Midnight Watch. Conrad Beisel thought Christ would return in the middle of the night, so they got up to wait for that. The sisters had their own service in the Zal, which they ran themselves, and the brothers had their own service in their own meeting house. If Christ didn't come by two o'clock in the morning, the members went back to sleep for another three more hours, waking up again at five o'clock the next morning. Women at the Ephrata Cloister experienced more opportunities and independence than their counterparts. They had their own house with their own finances and their own duties to take care of in a day and they didn't have to care for the brothers. The sisters produced works of art and music, and some of the sisters are probably the first female music composers in America. Mm -hmm.